Hey guys, been working on a new fidget spinner. This one here is a little bit different to the ones I've done before, but uh, you'll find out why in a minute. Today's super sub is Shady Mudkip. Okay, so I said this fidget spinner was a bit different. Now I've been making fidget spinners for a while now, but just recently I've been having a look at maybe making some Lego Transformers. So I've been interested in the way that pieces of Lego push together to make smaller objects. So although this could be used as a small fidget spinner, its little secret is actually in these arms. You see, they fold out and all of a sudden your small fidget spinner becomes a large fidget spinner. It's got a lot more range and it spins for a lot longer. I think it's pretty cool. And it's just a quick design while I've been busy working on other Lego projects. So what do you think of this Lego fidget spinner? Do you like it? Would you like to see more transforming fidget spinners? Let me know in the comments below. But next, I'll show you how to make this folding fidget spinner. Okay, making this folding fidget spinner is pretty easy. You just need a few basic parts. As per normal, we use a two by one brick with hole. This is a Technic brick, and this is a Technic tin and together they could make a tiny mini fidget spinner. But we want something a little bit bigger than that. So let's put on a six by one plate. And on this side, we're gonna put a two by one brick and another two by one brick. Now you can use any color you like. Now the trick to this folding fidget spinner are these little contraptions. And they fold completely flat one way and they open completely flat another. So if we just put one of these on the bottom and then we put another two by one brick on the top, we'll see that they fold out nicely. Now I'm just gonna put another one of these plates on. This just has a one stud on the top and that's the one side finished. Okay, so we'll just move on to the other side. Again, we'll put on one of these folding plates, but this time we'll fold it so it folds this way. Let's put on another two by one brick and we'll put on another plate on top. So again, that folds out. So now we just need to finish off this little bit at the bottom. And we just use a two by one plate. And there we go. Our folding fidget spinner is finished. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? And once you've finished playing with it, you can pop it back in your pocket because it's nice and small. And then when you're ready to play again. You just fold it out make it nice and flat and get some really good spin times. If you like this Lego fidget spinner, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, it's bye for now.